I have wanted one of these mods in Farming Simulator for the longest time, and we finally have one. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got some new mods for Farming Simulator 19 as well as a map update. So we got some multi-harvest headers. These are new forage headers. Do just about whatever you want. They're modded versions of ones we have in game. We've also got a new John Deere T560 version. So it is the T560 that we have in game. However, we have a new tire option. We have new cameras. We've got new interior stuff as well as a brand new header that will separate the canola part from the header itself. Oh, I'm so excited. And we got a new header trailer for it. Let's check it out. First up, we've got the multi-harvest heads. These can be found in forage harvester headers. Now, you may go through and say like, there they are, but they're not, they're not modded because, gotta go a little bit further, there they are, right here. We have a six meter and two nine meter versions. Two of them are Kemper and the other is the New Holland. Now, take a look at these. Most of the time, these would only do corn. You would say, well, yeah, because let's let's take a look at the new Holland winning game. Corn. That's it. However, the new modded one will do corn, sunflowers, wheat, barley, oats, canola, and soybeans. Oh yeah. That is right. So you can chaff all those things if you want, and the price is exactly the same, which is wonderful. These things will go at six miles per hour, nothing too crazy there. But obviously, I think I'm going to take one of these and make my own version, probably the New Holland right there. So make sure you guys check the uh, Google Drive for that later on. So instead of just doing corn now, now you can chaff any of those crops that were listed. Very cool. Next up, we have a modded version of the John Deere T560. This is the T560 pack. This comes with a harvester, the header, the canola table is what they're calling it. And we've got a brand new TM Leguan or Legwoon, however you want to say it. Anyway, we got a new header trailer for it, all with customization. First up, let's take a look at the John Deere itself. So this can be found in Harvesters. We're going to click on it right there. Wheel Brands, we have Trailer Borgs and Michelins. Nothing too crazy there. We've had those. However, now we have Midas tires on here. And for those, we still have Standards, Wides, and Crawler Track. So if you guys want to see the difference, let's see if we can bump up to it. Trailer Borgs, Michelin's, Midas tires. Oh yeah. I think the Crawler Track actually looks good. I'm not a big fan of the Crawler Track on this particular model. However, I think this one looks pretty good. And of course we have the Starfire on top. We can put that on or not. Unfortunately, it does nothing for you. So I would just leave it off unless you want the looks in general. So there you go. There's the update for that. Now, the header. Let's check the header out. You're gonna bump over to Tools headers and you're gonna bump until you see it it's gonna be the green one right here the john deere 625x sixty thousand dollars you're used to seeing it like this however now it's got the canola table on there which is really cool and you're probably looking at that going well yeah that's what it looks like however usually this is an automatic thing it just kind of pops in there but no now you can pull up and you can attach it with the header so these both come together so you will have to remove it whenever you're doing anything other than uh canola but when you do canola put that on there we're definitely going to be using that on some upcoming maps and of course we have the tm leguan or lagoon and i don't know how to say it you're going to find this in tools you're going to bump over to header trailers and for me this was the very last one for you maybe different but for me it was the very last one click on that main color and rim color those are all normal we've seen those however now we have a design option so design one is what you're used to seeing here's design two you're probably saying well it just moves it back a little bit however with this harvester in particular there was a really, really bad time of getting the header clipping on the back. So you had to try all kinds of things, set it as far back as you can. Now, what I have to do, just get it centered up on the wheels and you're good to go. I had no issues whatsoever. This right here, this header, I said it in the intro. I have been waiting. I've been waiting for this type of header since Farming Simulator 17. I'm so happy we've got it. It's just one extra option, I know, but it's so cool that we get to do this ourselves. 
I hope to see this happening in other headers to come. We've got an update to the map, Star Always Changelog 1.0.0.1. Add fuel station trigger in biogas plan, add animal loading trigger in Starways, and some model improvements. So if you guys are playing on this map, make sure that you update it. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to help you out. Hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!